This morning, a few things occurred to me that might seem unrelated. Well, they're not. Have you ever considered who the 1% is? You think it's rich people with big houses and bigger bank accounts? Wrong. The real 1% is you. While quality still trumps quantity, today the thing that trumps pretty much everything else is speed, and you, I, and everyone we know is susceptible to that new world order. Oh, and while I've long said that in business you can pick any two from the holy triumvirate of good, fast, and cheap, fast has become a requirement. Now you only get to pick one of the other two. That was a lot, and it all stems from this. Last night, the world lost Mickey Rooney. I found out by reading a notification in my Facebook feed, courtesy of a guy with a great name who no is not me, and I was a bit confused because I thought Mickey Rooney had left us some time ago. About 30 minutes later, my fiancé, who'd been laboring under the same incorrect understanding of Mickey Rooney's corporeal condition as I, mentioned his death to me. We had a short conversation about the speed of news. It wasn't very long ago that she'd have been my first source for information, but today I was way ahead of her, with way ahead being that 30 minutes. When did 30 minutes become an eternity? Well, a few minutes later, I took a look at my Twitter account, and I saw that one of my sons had posted an RIP for Mickey Rooney fully eight hours before his passing crossed my field of consciousness. And I was a bit surprised that my 25-year-old son knew who Mickey Rooney was. I was more surprised that he felt Mr. Rooney deserved the title legend. And then, to underscore the point we'd been discussing earlier about the speed of news, I texted Kathy the link to my son Mike's tweet. But I didn't send that text from my phone. I noticed Mike's tweet while browsing from my desk and I used my computer to redirect the tweet through my phone using a browser plugin. So a news event got passed around at the speed of influencing using several mediums via a third party through seemingly disconnected devices, including my editorialization about my son's cognizance of Mickey Rooney, all in seconds. There's nothing that's disconnected anymore, and influencing is a matter of understanding that, embracing it, and moving fast. Now, reconsider my points from the top of this piece. With so much information coming at us from so many different places, the good-slash-fast-slash-cheap thing, while still true, means nothing unless you're in people's faces at the right moment, which means now. Fast has to happen. As an influency marketer trying to get people's attention, you only get to pick between good and cheap. And then there's that 1%. Since a few years back, when it became a cultural touchstone representing what's wrong with American society, the idea behind the 1% has been about elitism. Generally, that elitism has been expressed in terms of financial superiority, but let's remove money from the equation because the 1% are really just whomsoever has an advantage over everyone else, and speed is that advantage. Speed is about a lot of things. How fast your website loads matters, for example. Being first to market, or at least first to start shouting, is important too. Getting people from point A to point B quickly, almost before they have a chance to think, is another speed metric that you need to keep your eye on. You've likely encountered pop-up windows here at Answer Guys Central, and recently we started laying a bar across the top of the website asking, sometimes, for you to opt into our email list and others to click over to the special pages like our new project, Video Network One. Well, these three formats have a couple of things in common. They are designed to be dealt with quickly. We expect them to work, yep, 1% of the time. 99% of these impressions don't perform. Well, that's not a lot of margin for error, is it? When you get your attention quickly enough, we achieve a 1% success rate leading us back to the quantity issue. The more people who see the messages, the more people that that 1% represents. And if you see the advertisements on the side of this article, can you guess what our click-through rate is on those? The 1% aren't the bad guys. The 1%, in fact, are the good guys. Good, fast, cheap. Pick any two, you bet. As long as one of the two you pick is fast. And when Mickey Rooney died and my son not only noticed but said something, it made me realize what's really wrong with Neil Young's Pono player. Or is that Pono player? It's good and it's cheap enough, 
but there's nothing about the Pono Player message that will be fast enough to attract 1% of a meaningful audience. Sounds like a lot to navigate? Say hi, we've got your back. I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.